So just how big a business is prepping? Well, you might be surprised. Here's an encore presentation of a story CCTV's Sean Caleb's recently filed from the U.S. city of Atlanta. There are those who believe, be prepared now, that the end will come in a flash. Or others point out, nearly 100 years ago, a pandemic flu outbreak killed as much as 5% of the global population. And within a matter of months, as many as 50 million would be dead. This is where uh, we keep just a you know, little bit of this, a little bit of that, and a little bit of the other. There are a just growing in number of people in the United States who call themselves preppers, prepared to live on their own if the worst happens. Sleeping bags, uh, dried food, uh, canning supplies, um, we're in, into canning. Uh, James Knight likes to say he's a rational man a decorated military vet and an aircraft mechanic and a prepper. I had a friend that described it very well as there's those who prep because they know that they need to and there are those who prep because it's a hobby. With me, it's a hobby. Rice and other grains are frozen, vacuum sealed with oxygen absorbers. Now, the two things that destroy food are oxygen and UV rays or UV sunlight. So once you've taken care of the oxygen, you put it in a Mylar bag, catering to preppers or survivalists is big business, generating at least $600 million a year in the U.S. and propping up conventions like this one in Atlanta. It tells us that people are serious and concerned about this. And again, two, three years ago, I never heard of it. Slap the word survivalist on it, and people here want to buy it. The tactical look is big here. There are, of course, foods, first aid, and some items are cheap. The least expensive item is like a little egg whisk that we have over here. And how much? A dollar. Insulated roof system. The most expensive we found, $290,000 for a 2,800 square foot concrete and steel reinforced underground home. That's right, underground, away from all things bad. Check out one of our structures, you know, we're 10 foot tall ceilings, 12 foot tall ceilings. We have all the amenities and the, uh, the custom finishes of your traditional home. The only difference is we don't have windows. Again, living like a gopher, but safe from this. And the winds that cause this. And that was CCTV Sean Caleb's reporting from the U.S. city of Atlanta.